going on guys Daniel from Modbot here and in today's video we are going to be installing the x-axis and the extruder into our Annette A8. I want to apologize ahead of time there's gonna be a lot more photos than video due to my video getting corrupted so anyways let's go ahead and get into it and hopefully this will still be just as useful. So for the x-axis we're basically going to need three of these aluminum blocks and the final two smooth rods. The way you install them is by inserting them in to the right side of the 3D printed parts holes and pushing it all the way through into the holes on the other side. Um, I couldn't get this on video at all because I ended up having to take it into my garage and taking a hammer to it. It just, the 3D printed parts wouldn't, um, I, I just couldn't get it through. So I strongly recommend using some kind of like a rubber mallet and just tapping it all the way through. Once you have those in, we're going to grab the M2 12 screws and our x-axis end stop and you're just going to go ahead and install them into the 3D printed part on the left side just like I have pictured here. It might take a little bit of force because you're basically going to have to screw it into the printed part, um, but nonetheless the screw has a point on the end so it'll drill right through the 3D printed part without any issues. Then we're going to grab um, the M3 and 30 screws, three of them, as well as our X-axis stepper motor and the belt that we have left over. And we're just going to install the uh, stepper motor to the 3D printed part and then basically loop the belt around it and just pull it through so that way it's hanging out the middle side of the printer, as you can hopefully see in that little picture right there. Uh, again, you'll probably have to pause these guides or these tutorials or these, you know, um, I guess kind of references um, while building this they're not intended to be in real time because that would take hours and hours and hours and um, nobody wants to sit through that much video footage so it's easier to just be able to pause it um, you know at the parts you're stuck at or anything like that then we're going to need to take this little allen screw um, out of the bottom of our extruder it should be able to be removed with the included uh, allen key then we're going to go ahead and grab two of the M318 screws and four of the M3 nuts and we're going to need to install a screw on the back side of this black extruder mount that we just removed the extruder from. Just like so, basically the screws need to be sticking out the back with one nut on the back side, one nut on the front side, that way they're locked up against the back of the frame. It's basically going to be what our belt grabs onto for the x-axis. Then we're going to need to take these M48 screws, you're actually going to need 12 of them and we're going to install them on those aluminum blocks just like we did with the bed. Just do crisscross, that way that you make sure you fit them all, kind of just fit them all loosely and then tighten them crisscross afterwards. That way you make sure you get them all in nice and straight. Then you're going to need to loop the belt around the other side of the uh, 3D printed part, so basically the right and left, and use a zip tie to make a loop like this. And so you're going to loop it, put it on the screw, and then pull the other belt around, and you want to make it as tight as possible, and then zip tie it in place around the screw. Basically in the end, you want it to have just some, um, some give, but you want it to kind of bounce back relatively hard. Um, if you don't have enough tension, it'll cause issues with your uh, prints. So, Next, we're going to install our extruder. You're going to need all these different parts right here. Basically, you're going to need the little aluminum block, the um, 3D printer fan, the grill, and the two long screws that come in the fan bag. And you're just going to install it like this. Basically, screw to washer to grill to fan to the heat block. Just push them through and kind of keep them together like that. Then the two screws in the bottom of the extruder are going to need to be removed and you're going to replace them with the longer screws that you basically had just pushed through the fan, as you can see pictured here. Then the nut on the bottom of the extruder, you're basically going to use the little uh, wrench that they gave you and just loosen that down so that way you can fit it over the aluminum block when you install it and then you need to lock it up against that aluminum block that will hold the extruder into place. Then grab the other fan and the M318 screws and just pop that onto the front of the uh, aluminum housing and the two holes that are there. 
But as you can see here, the extruder is held on. It's just the only thing holding it in place is that nut again that's on the bottom of the um, aluminum frame. And then this little 3D printed plastic piece is just going to pop onto that fan that's in the front of the 3D printer and it's going to point at the hot end to cool your first layer of prints. So anyways guys, this has been part 5 on the x-axis as well as the extruder. This is the final build video um, with the exception of installing all the electronics which will be in the next video. Um, once again, I'm really really sorry that I lost a lot of the video footage. Um, I had two different angles on it and for some reason my computer software just crashed and lost the footage. So um, again, hopefully this will be as useful as possible. You can always reference your own you know, guide that is usually on the SD card or the video that uh, is from the manufacturer and then just use this alongside as a reference too for things that maybe don't make sense. Um, but anyways, on that note, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.